Hi, in this video we shall be developing autoregressive distributed lab model using eView. So, uh, autoregressive distributed lab model is a model uh, which is used uh, mostly when uh, standard VAR model or uh, vector error correction model are not applicable. Uh, so uh, when, for example, we have uh, variables that are uh, integrated of a different order, for example, order one and two, we cannot uh, apply a standard bar. We cannot uh, another uh, apply for a, a vectorial correction model because parameter need all variables to be uh, stationary, and vectorial correction model need uh, require variable to be. Uh, or uh, integrated of order one. So when we have variables that are integrated of order one and two respectively, for example, we can apply for autoregressive distributed lab model. So we can also apply for autoregressive distributed lab model when variables are all uh, integrated in of order one. Uh, when uh, even when we can also use vector error correction model as far as uh, variable are integrated. So in this video, we will show you how to implement the auto receive distributed lab model in EU. So to do so, uh, so we have a database uh, that uh, have. Uh, uh, data on uh, upward revenue of a page. We have uh, total revenue of our, our page. We have uh, other variable like number of impression. We have page reduce. We have number of click uh, uh, on the daily basis. So our database is a daily basis. Uh, data so uh, to run autoregressive uh, distributed lab model, you just need to go on quick and then click on estimate equation. So, uh, when you, have, you click on estimate equation, you have to model the total, uh, the total revenue function of other uh, variable like uh, number of clicks. We have uh, we have page views, so we'll uh, just focus on these uh, three uh, variables. So, second step is to select the midpoint. So, uh, by default, eViews uh, allows you to uh, use least square midpoint. So, you can if you click on the uh, section. Uh, Related to the meal method and choose for the uh, auto regressive distributed lab model. So then we click on OK. So when we click on OK, we have the possibility to choose for automatic selection of uh, maximum lab for dependent and independent variable and regressors. So we have we can choose fixed. Uh, Fixed method to choose the number of labs to include in the dependent and the regressor model. So to be optimal, we should choose for automatic selection and choose if whether or not we can have constant or uh, any constant in our model. So we choose the constant model. So uh, we can choose and put here a list of fixed uh, regressors. So uh, in option, we can select the uh, criteria to use uh, in order to uh, select the best model. So uh, by default, we have uh, a high key information criteria. So if we let the uh, select the high key uh, information criteria, we, should, we can just click on OK and our model has been estimated and the selected model is a uh, progressive distributed lab. 2033. Two for the number of lakh uh, include for the total revenue of uh, the company. We have zero lakh for uh, number of clicks. So uh, just uh, just the number of clicks of the data significantly have an impact on the total 
total revenue not not not, not the uh, impression of previous days we have a uh, three lakh for number impression we have a uh, three lakh uh, for page view so if you can change the uh, criteria the model selection criteria we can choose for uh, an uh, Schwarz criteria and then click on OK and you can see that the selected model is 1000 so only one lap for the total revenue and zero for the all the uh, result of our model so uh, if we keep this uh, this model you can notice that uh, the only variable that uh, significantly influence in our model is uh, the number of clicks so if we should we suppose that is uh, within our variable the only variable that can be used in order to mold the, the number of the revenue the total revenue of the day is the number of clicks so we delete uh, all other variable and only um, only keep uh, a number of click in our model so then click on ok you can see that uh, number of click is a variable that can uh, be uh, used uh, that is statistically significant that because p value is less than five percent so to analyze our model in terms of elasticity we should we can put a logarithm transformation in our equation so we, we use log function log of uh, the total revenue in euro. So we have the look can also apply the logarithm on a number of click. And then we click on OK and can see that uh, the influence of the number of click in uh, in terms of percentage is uh, 0 0.69, which means that when the number of click include, increase by 1%, the total revenue increase also increased by 0.69 percent. So we can look at error term. Uh, we can look at uh, residual diagnostic by going on view view and click on residual diagnostics. So we can choose histogram of normality. We can see that the p value of our normality test. 0.000 which is less than 5% so that we can just accept, uh, reject the null hypothesis of uh, the normality of our residual meaning that our residual are not normally distributed so we are not happy about our model so we can also look at uh, uh, ero scarcity of our model so ero scarcity test in residual diagnostic so we click on Okay, if we choose the default the fresh pagan work free test, then we click on OK and we can see that the uh, p value of our fresh got free test is in order of 0.75%. That would mean that we will reject the null hypothesis of uh, the heteroscedasticity of our model, meaning that our error term are homoscedastic. So uh, we are happy about the almost capacity of our model. So you can also look at uh, serial correlation in our model by choosing serial correlation LM test. So uh, we choose to uh, include two lab in our model. So we click on OK and the uh, Brech Godfrey serial uh, correlation LM test is uh, how the p-value of 0.09 Meaning that at 5% level, we can reject the uh, serial correlation in our residual, meaning that our residual are not uh, auto correlated. So we are happy about uh, about that. So uh, that are uh, what we can uh, verify for our residual diagnostics and. Uh, Total receipt distributed lab model, and we hope this video have been uh, helpful for you so that it can help you very well implement auto receipt distributed lab model. So that's it for this, and we'll see you a little bit sooner in the new auto.